Okay, in this assignment, we're creating our collage of about 18 images here. And um, we're looking to have nice clean selections of all of these different images that we're compositing into one. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use channels so you can make nice clean selections to remove objects from their background. To get started, you wanna set up a couple of things. You can see here, I have my histogram set up um, and I have my channels tab here. If you don't have those open, you can always go to Windows and then make sure you have your histogram selected. There it is. And then Windows, we wanna make sure that our channels is available to us. That's just to help us get set up. All right, so what we're gonna do with the channels is we're going to use these to sort of identify which channel, RGB stands for red, green, blue, which channel uh, gives us the greatest amount of contrast. Because what we're gonna try and do is make this image super contrasty so that our selection is really easy to identify. You can see here, there's like lots of detail with these tassels and things like that and multiple caps in the air. So rather than going around and selecting each one of those things, we can almost just select black value. But first, we just need to create everything that we want to select and make it black. And one way to do that is by isolating um, the colors in our channels. So here we are uh, in the channels tab, and I'm just going to click on red, green, and blue. And what I'm looking for here is which channel has the greatest amount of contrast? And that's where the histogram is helping me. I can do this visually, but um, the histogram is just showing me that you know my shadows over here have information and um, my midtones inching into the highlights have information and like nothing in between, right? And as I go through these, um, there's just a little less contrast. So I'm gonna go with blue. And once you determine which channel you're going to use, you just want to make a copy of that channel. And to do that, you can just drag it down to the copy layer here. Um, it just looks like a square with a plus, and it created a copy of the blue channel. And now on this copy, I'm going to add an adjustment, go to image adjustment levels. So I'm going to add a levels adjustment. I'm clicking on that. And here you can see I can um, tweak these levels. So my shadows are over here on the left. I'm going to move the shadows and the highlights to the right to almost blacken out every part of the cap. Um, and I'm going to move the highlights to the left to really lighten the sky so my selection doesn't get confused there. So as I move the slider, notice how the caps are getting darker. I'm gonna go, that's pretty good. And now I'm gonna move the midtones here and all the midtones are getting darker too, but the sky is kind of part of my that midtone. So I'm gonna take the highlights and move it to the left and see that sky brighten up again. And what I'm looking for is almost a silhouette. You can see now that pretty much there's some not fully black here at this part of the cap. So I can move this mid-tone right there to the right until almost it's just two tones of black and white. And if you have in your image any remaining parts that didn't get selected, you can just use the brush. Let me hit OK. You can use the brush. And for this, I would actually have the brush um, edge be 100% hard. And I want the foreground color to be black. So I'm gonna change that to black by sliding the color picker all the way down to black and hit okay. And then I can just paint in any of those remaining highlights that are left over. This really has almost none, um, so. Uh, there you go. So now I've got pretty much everything um, that I want selected in black, including each one of these little tassels. Um, and at this point, I'm going to click on the RGB to make the image visible again. 
And while that's selected, I'm going to hold down the command key and click on the thumbnail of that blue copy to load that selection. And you can see these little marching ants shows me everything that's selected. Now I notice that the outline here also has marching ants. So I'm going to just go up to select inverse, which is like the opposite to make sure that just um, the caps here are selected, okay. And then from here, you can actually just drag the selection now um, to your other layer, but I can't drag it from the channels. I need to go back to this layers panel, make sure that the background is selected. And with my move tool, I can pick up that selection and you'll see it's just pulling it away there. And I'm gonna hover over the collage and bring my cursor down into the canvas and let go. And there you go. Now I have um, a selection. I just hit command T to transform the scale and make it larger. So you can see all these little tassels. Uh, were included in it. Uh, there you go. Uh, that's using channels to make selections.